All right, guys. Today we are making the Pioneer Woman bacon pasta salad. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but I know whenever I go to a barbecue or anything, I am absolutely looking for pasta salad. So today we're gonna try this out. It has some pretty interesting ingredients, some bacon, and listen guys, if you try this, if you don't have time to cook any bacon, this is amazing. You can put it in the microwave, it gives you the crispy texture of pan-cooked bacon. Give it a try, all right? We have some black olives that go in there. And these are just real simple brands, nothing fancy. We don't want you to break the bank trying to make this stuff, okay? Some diced pimentos. And we're gonna put the whole jar of these in there. If you're not a pimento fan, you can totally skip this step. I, for one, love green olives and the pimento is wonderful for me. Now, this recipe did call for like a pint of grape tomatoes. I don't know about you guys, I'm not really a big tomato fan. So, <laughs> I did half of that and it's okay. All right, so you wanna make sure your pasta is cooled before you do this because there is some cheese in there. I told my husband to get a six ounce pack and guess what he got? Two ounces. We're gonna use it though. But I had to cheat a little bit and use some grated cheese also. As long as you have your cheese in there, it's fine. No biggie. You know, I don't know about you guys. I am a hard working woman, so I try to make things as simple as possible. And so I'm looking for ease at all times. Did you guys know they have peeled garlic already? It's like already peeled. It comes in these cute little packages. Just try it out. So we're gonna use one garlic clove. We're gonna grate that up. Be careful. Do not get your pretty little fingers in there because it doesn't feel good, okay? I recently just went and saw a movie and somebody scraped somebody with a garlic, uh, are we with the, um, what was that thing? The grater. <laughs> It was pretty bad. All right, so we're gonna move on to our wet ingredients. Now, I'm not really one to measure, but did you know that if you massage your lemon first, you get a real good squeeze? Look at that. So you need about a tablespoon and a half of lemon juice. You're gonna put a half a cup of Best Foods mayonnaise. You know, bring out the Best Foods because it brings out the best, right? All righty. Put that in there. Now, since we have so many ingredients, we're gonna go ahead and mix this up just a little bit so it's not so labor intensive at the end. I don't really know about these peas now that I'm looking at it. I've never been a person that likes peas. Um, they would always sit on my plate as I was little. So we'll see how this works out today. Maybe my grown taste buds will be a little bit different. Alrighty, so now we're gonna use a cup of sour cream. All right, look, this is how I feel about this. Everything's going in the same pot, right? Go ahead and just stir it up a little. You know that oil that sits at the top? It's gross. Stir it a bit. Doesn't have to be perfect. If you guys don't wanna use sour cream, you don't have to. You might be a little, you know, little sensitive to dairy and that's okay. So we're gonna use about a cup of sour cream. I'm gonna put that in there like so. Now this is interesting for me because every time I've made pasta salad, it was just very simple, like Italian dressing. So I can't wait to see what this is gonna taste like. It looks very creamy. So go ahead and mix that up in there, guys. And you want to try to coat all your ingredients. This, this is, you know, a lot of pasta. So make sure you're evenly spreading it out. Alrighty, so then we are going to use some Italian parsley. I went ahead and used the whole thing. If you guys don't like really spice, you know, like that Italian spice, you can use about half of this. But I'm going to go ahead and be a little bold today and use it all. It's mine, right? I can do what I want. Okay, and then, so this recipe really called for uh, fresh dill, but I didn't have fresh dill, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this. The amount it called for was uh, four sprigs, I think, so we're gonna use 
four tablespoons, I mean four teaspoons, I'm sorry, with my intergalactic orange teaspoon here. And again, if you don't like dill, you know, cut it in half. It does need it, obviously, because the recipe called for it. So, you know, but you do what you want to do. It's your business. Okie dokie. So we have pretty much everything in there. Now, it does call for, I think, two teaspoons of salt and pepper. I usually let the ancestors lead me when I'm seasoning my food. So I'm just going to go ahead and give it a good seasoning. There's a lot of creamy ingredients. You know, so you want to make sure it has some flavor. And then we're going to put a little bit of pepper. I used to work at Olive Garden, so I got really good at, <laughs> at grinding pepper. All right, so we're going to go ahead and mix that up as well. Ooh, that looks good. Look at that. All right, I'm kind of, I'm getting excited. What about you guys? Look at, look, you look at that. I cut the tomatoes in half. And there's still a bunch of tomatoes in there. I, uh, uh, yeah, it's a little too tomato-y for me. Okay, looks pretty good, right? I think so. All right, I'm getting this all over my hands. I don't want to be, you know, too messy. Be having to lick my fingers in the middle of this recipe. But here we go. Okay, it looks like everything's pretty coated, right? I think so. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and smooth this out because you wanna have a little presentation, you know. So just kind of smooth it out. Maybe a little more cheese. That's probably the only thing I would do different. But I think it looks really good. So after you go ahead and smooth it out, make it nice and even in your bowl, you're gonna top it with the rest of your bacon. And I told you guys, it does get crispy. Okay, don't sleep on the Hormel bacon. Just have to put it in the microwave. Very simple. You have some in there, and I love anything with bacon. I don't know about you guys. And we're gonna use about four green onions. You guys can just use these. Don't be all fancy trying to cut these up. Use your kitchen scissors, guys. All right. Kitchen scissors are amazing for this. I have some pretty long ones in there. I hope nobody uh, notices. Okay, and this is just really garnish for the top. It does give some flavor though. All right. I think that's enough. That looks pretty good to me. We're gonna go ahead and pop that in the fridge for a little bit, let it set up and see how it tastes. All right, guys, I left my pasta salad in the fridge for about an hour. It's nice and cool. So we're going to go ahead and give it a taste and see what we think about it. Because I don't take anything to anybody's house and it's not good for me. OK. All righty. OK. Moment of truth. Mmm. It's nice and smoky. This is actually really good. It's good. I was concerned, but it's really good. You guys have to try this, okay? All right. We're good to go, guys. We do donate all of the food. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll have another recipe for you very soon.